The blades are manufactured here in the Siemens Gamesa blade factory. They're brought then over to the storage area at the pre-assembly site and prepared ready for taking down to the key site for loadout. Behind me you can see the, uh, the insulation vessel seat challenger. Just over to the right hand side here you can see the blades uh, just getting ready for being loaded on. And then just immediately behind you can see the towers on the tower packs. Uh, again they'll be loaded later on in the loadout process. We have four blades on at the moment. Uh, we've got another eight to go on. Three blades per turbine, four towers and then four nacelles. So what you can see here, this is the main carcass, if you like. You can see the transportation frame that the nacelle sits on. This is taken on board the insulation vessel, and then when the nacelle comes to be installed, it's unbolted from the flange and the nacelle's lifted off, and then this frame is then backloaded back to the key side. I'm, I'm going out on this cycle, yeah, I've got a, a trip offshore. I love being offshore. It's the greatest office in the world on a sunny day. When we build an offshore wind turbine, the first thing our foundation colleagues do is install the foundation into the seabed. Once the foundation is installed, the electrical cables that carry the electricity to the offshore substation are fitted. When those turbine guys arrive at the foundation, the first component we install is the 95 meter high tower. On top of the tower, we fit the nacelle. This is the part of the turbine that contains the hub and the electrical generator. And finally, we installed the three 81 meter long blades in the hub at the front of the nacelle, and that's it, the turbine is built. Quite a milestone, a thousand turbines offshore in UK waters is not an insignificant achievement by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it's taken obviously a good few years to get to this stage now, but uh, it won't be too long before it's 2,000 turbine we'll be seeing hopefully in the not too distant future.